Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of uh, Parametrics. And to start off, we're going to be looking at the uh, humble point. So I'm just going to start out by setting up a few points here in the 3D space. So how do we set up a point? The first thing you want to do is simply double, double click and write in point. Simple as that. And now you want to uh, right click and go to set one point. Then you can select maybe this one here, and that's how you set up one point. Now, let's imagine you want to set up multiple points. We can just go here, select all these points, and now you've been able to, to assign multiple points to one single battery. Of course, at some point, you might want to construct a point directly in uh, Grasshopper itself. And to do this, you can simply double click again. With your, with your left mouse button and write in uh, construct point like that. Okay. And as you can see here, we have uh, all these coordinate inputs here. And simply by, by creating a, a slider, and I can do this simply by writing in maybe 10, it will automatically generate a slider, which now, as if I connect it to all these inputs, you can see that. I can now move this point within a 10 meter, a 10 by 10 by, by 10 meter uh, cubic space. And if I wish to give all of these inputs different coordinates, I can simply copy and paste this two times or twice <laughs> and add them in here. And now I can easily change these coordinates within this space. Uh, if you wish to be more uh, specific, you can always double click this symbol here and then and then change from uh, normal values to ra to rational values. And now you can also work with uh, decimals. And if you wish to change your mi your minimum your minimum and maximum, you can just go in here, write it maybe something like uh, like 100. And here I'm gonna pay place in minus 10, like that. And now. I can simply change this within this range of values and also it can make your points position a lot more more specific. I'm just gonna set these out now clearing values and now let's imagine I just want to move one point which has has already been set. So to do this I can just write in move to get access to a move, a move battery and then add this input into into the geometry input. And now I need to add in some motion. So I can just select one of my axes. I can connect this in here, then copy this slider here, if I want to use a different one, of course. And then by connecting it here, now you can see I can move a pre a pre-existing point. So I'm just going to hi highlight that. And of course, you can always you can always change this axis into any one of the other axes. Okay guys, so this has been a very simple tutorial. I hope to see you here next time.